Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS, the Construction Management System, and I am Ismail Saeed. Let's have a quick tour explaining to you what is the CMS and how CMS can be a helpful tool for your construction project during the life cycle of your building construction project. And how CMS will produce for you a huge amount of information and output helping you from the stage of pre-contracting and tendering of your construction project and during the execution of your project till its closeout. And we'll see how CMS will help us in the quantity surveying work, how CMS will provide for us a material takeoff, produce for us a detailed material required for each element and for each activity, like the concrete work, how much is still required for each element per diameter, what is the required concrete, what is the required shutter for the concrete, what is the required block for this project, as well as the required material for implementing this type of blocks, also the plastering and the finishing work for all the projects. And we'll see also how CMS will provide for us a clear cost estimation for each activity and how it will provide for us an activity cost breakdown and how it will help us to make the overhead and the profit for the project and how it will produce for us a price bill of quantity which have all the divisions required for the construction work and this all automatically. Furthermore, we'll see how CMS will develop for us a time schedule for the full project along with the full bar chart plan the start and finish for each activity and how CMS will produce for us a cost baseline and the cash flow plus manpower histogram moreover we'll see how CMS will make for us a detailed feasibility study to ensure that how much our project is successful and what to do to increase our profits that's very important for the developers and consultants when they are doing their design. They have to confirm and ensure that the project have a good feasibility and good profit. And it will give us the outgoing and income cash flow. This all house CMS is helping us and producing for us a huge data during the pre-contracting stage and tender stage. Plus, we'll see also how CMS will make for us a proper management during our execution. CMS will make a full management for the cost and time. And we'll see how CMS will give us a proper cost and resources management. And how CMS will produce for us the reports. And will show for us the activity performance, the end value report, the status report, and forecasting and the trend reports. Furthermore, CMS will produce for us a dashboard showing us the KPIs and the indication for our project status for schedule and cost and resources. This all we will see in the next clarification. We have a three versions of the CMS, which is the silver, the gold, the platinum and it's already mentioned in the website what are the features for everyone and how is CMS platinum covering all the features of the gold and the silver and more let's start when you open CMS will ask you first either to go for original CMS or to choose from your previous saved files go for the original CMS will appear for you this screen till opening. For CMS server, you will find here the main page, have the bottom of the quantity surveying, the QS, and cost estimation, which are the components of the CMS server. For gold, you will find here the quantity surveying, cost estimation, scheduling, and feasibility study. For platinum, you will find quantity surveying, cost estimation, scheduling, feasibility study, and management and cost control. Let's see now how to go through CMS and how CMS helping us to make the full calculation and the study for our project. We'll start now in the quantity surveying, which is common for the three versions. Click quantity surveying. Actually, quantity surveying is very important for any kind of construction project 
without proper and detailed quantity surveying for the project, the project will be in trouble during the execution. CMS helps you to provide a proper quantity surveying, a proper material takeoff in detail, as we'll see now. For example, if we are going for the structure work, we'll find CMS divided the structure work for substructure and superstructure with all the common elements for substructure and superstructure. Let's see now how CMS will help us and what type of information CMS will provide to us using the minimum inputs. For example, if we choose the foundation, we'll find it like this screen. When we only insert the numbers and the dimension for the foundations with the repair reinforcement according to the drawings, we have the bottom reinforcement and the top reinforcement for the long and short span. We find here CMS directly give us this information, which are the quantity of the reinforcement concrete, the quantity of blinding concrete, the detailed quantities for the rebar for each diameter, the ratio between the rebar and the concrete, the waterproofing and the shutters for the foundations, also the type of the shutter either block or wood or whatever and the excavation quantity and the same you can do for any other types of foundation according to your design you will find it directly same as giving you the quantities according to your new inputs and in the course video we will know exact how to do this step by step the same you can do for all kind of the substructure work and also superstructure for these outputs, which already came from CMS, it will be reflected directly in all other project aspects. Other example, if we did the same for the ribs, if we have the ribbed slab, we'll just enter the, the length and width of the slab and the reinforcement of these ribs. We'll find CMS provide for us directly the number of the ribs and the solid parts required and the number of the hardy block which is required for this kind of slab. It provides for us also all the details, rebar, the quantity of the concrete, and the number of the required block. All this coming for you automatically. When you continue the same, we'll find all the data which is produced directly from the quantity surveying reflected directly in the material takeoff. For example, as we see now, here is the old type of the concrete, here is all the rebars per diameter, and we'll find here for each member we have a detailed quantity of the rebars. At the end, we have how much each element required for all type or diameters of the rebar. At the end, we have the full quantity required for the project, plus the same for the concrete, how much required for as a reinforcement or plain concrete. Furthermore, CMS will give us the approximate shutter required for all the concrete element, plus the margin of these shutters, which will be used automatically also by CMS to calculate the cost for each concrete element. The same can be done for the masonry work by very easy way. When we choose the type and insert the height and the length of the block, whatever the type of the block, just choose it. And we will know how to insert and choose this in the videos. And also choose the mortar type. We'll find seam is giving to us directly for each type of block what is the required area, what is the number of block, what is the quantity required as a mortar, and this also will be reflected in the material takeoff. Like this, we have here all the type of block, the area of the blocks, the quantity of the blocks, the required material which is required as a mortar, either it will be a ready mortar or mix on site with sand and cement. All these will come to you automatically by CMS. Still in quantity surveying, the same can be done also for the finishing work, for the internal, for any location when we inserted only the type of the finishing from AutoCAD directly. CMS will give us the required quantity directly for the plastering, flooring, skirting, and ceiling with all types of ceiling and also this information will be reflected directly in the quantities takeoff that's the amount of the plaster 
all type of finishing, flooring, skirting, all the quantity required, all the required material to do this finishing, either ready material or ready mortar or mix on site mortar by sand and cement. Even the water required for this kind of work, it will be applicable there. Internal wall, the same. And all the details, material required to execute such activity. What else CMS will provide for us? CMS will provide for us pale of quantity, have all the construction divisions, which starting from the general, general work, site and earth work, concrete, masonry, metal, wood, thermal, door and windows, finishes, special items, conveyors, mechanical, electrical, external. That's the common divisions for the construction work. And we'll find how CMS will produce for us a ready bill of quantity without any effort from our side. CMS also will provide for us a detailed cost estimation. CMS will calculate a detailed breakdown for each activity and provide for us a detailed cost estimation, including all the direct and the indirect cost automatically. Let's see how. When you click in the cost estimation, we'll find the steps which shall be followed. Step 2.1, which is the resources price. When you insert only the resources prices according to your area or country, CMS will take these prices and will generate all the cost estimation for each activity and for the full project. For example, you will insert only the prices for the repair according to your location, or the concrete according to your suppliers, or the aggregates, or block, or cement, and even the prime cost or purchasing price for your finishing material which shall be used in your project. After inserting this material cost only, you will find CMS will make an activity cost breakdown automatically and will provide for us a detailed breakdown for each civil activity in the construction project, starting from the earth work, the concrete work, block work, plaster, finishing, and adding all the required cost for the other subcontract and lump sum work. For example, if we talk about the earth work, we'll find CMS give us all the material cost and the equipment cost. At the end, will give us the cost for each activity required for the earth work. The same for the concrete, we'll find here, CMS give us full cost estimation for the material of the concrete, which is the concrete price, the steel, the shutters, the scaffolding required, the hoardy if there is any hoardy, and even the curing cost, the water for the curing, and the post tension and the enforcement cost, plus the manpower required for all items of the concrete. All this came for you automatically. Here the manpower required for the post tension. Here the manpower required for the concreting or pouring the concrete. The manpower for form work and shuttering as a carpentry. And the manpower required for the repair. You will have here full budget for your activity, which can be monitored later to allow you monitor your project during the execution. Here you have the full labor cost per cubic meter, the total cost for each activity, and the cost per meter for each activity, and the total price. After CMS adding the profit ratio for each activity also automatically. This, for example, the same will be for the block work, as you see. All type of block work, what is the material required, cost of the material, Block, mortar, cement, water, sand, black sand, curing, even the accesses required for the block work CMS calculated automatically, and the cost of the labor which required to execute this type of job, plus the total cost for each, and the cost per meter for each type of block, and of course the final price after adding the profit ratio by CMS automatically, as we'll see in the course later. At the end, CMS will provide for you the final budget of your project and the final price of the project which you sell the project with, including all the direct and indirect costs, and how this overhead and profit will distribute for all the project activities and will appear automatically in the automatic produced bill of quantity. Accordingly, CMS will produce a full bill of quantity automatically, including all the required activities quantities and the rate for each activity and the price for each as well. For example, here is the earth work. We have the excavation, 
compound the quantity of the excavation, the rate of the excavation, and the total price of the excavation. Backfilling, all the type of backfilling, the quantities, even the disposal which shall be removed from the site, which we don't need again in our execution. The quantities will be calculated automatically. The rates will be determined by CMS, and that's the final price. The same we'll find for the concrete. Here the substructure concrete. CMS give you the full elements required for the substructure, the total quantity, the final rate for each element, and the final price. Plus, CMS also will give you a breakdown for this substructure, concrete work, which is the concrete itself. That's the rate of the concrete itself for each element. That's the final price for the concrete for each element. Here is the repair, which are required for the same elements. That's the total quantity of the rebar per ton for each element. That's the cost of the rebar, which is the material and manpower for the rebar work only. And the final price for the rebar. The same also for the shutters for each element. Same is calculated all the required area of the shutters for each element and the rate and the final price. The same will be done for all construction activities, as you will see in the course this all will come for you automatically finally you will have the final price in the poq with the detail and summary of the poq for each division with the full price till here cms server is completed we have the full quantity surveying have the full material takeoff full price for the project and the detailed poq this all will come to you as an automatic output for CMS Gold, further to the quantity surveying and cost estimation, it can provide for you a time schedule and feasibility study. Automatically, after CMS calculate the budget of the project and the details price for each activity, CMS have the logic sequence between all the activities and the common productivities for each manpower. Accordingly, CMS will develop for you a time schedule automatically. Like this, we'll find CMS automatically develop and produce a time schedule having all the activities with all the planned value for each activity, with all the weightage for each activity against the project, what the percentage of this activity against the project value, the duration required for each activity, and the planned start and planned finish for each activity, and producing for you a bar chart for all the projects like this of course can manage as you'll see in the course to modify your time schedule according to your project constraints after developing the schedule cms will produce for you automatically a cost baseline and monthly cash flow which will indicate for you what is the required cash flow in the peak and for every month and what is the percentage of the progress required every month this will come for you automatically by CMS. Furthermore, CMS will produce for you the required manpower histogram, which will allow you to know from the beginning of the project what is the required civil manpower for your project, either carpenters, steel fixers, masons, tile fixers, plasterers, and the total civil manpower. He will give you a full histogram where the amount of manpower and the timing of deploying and deploying them. This will come for you automatically by CMS. This also will allow you to know what is the capacity of the company which required to work in this kind of project. Like this, scheduling will be finished. Also, CMS Gold will give you a very good opportunity to ensure the feasibility of your project. Either your project is feasible or not as a developer or as a consultant when you are making a design for your client you must know either this kind of design have a good feasibility and good profit in sales or not cms will present this also and produce this also automatically when you go for feasibility study cms will provide for you a full marketing plan can be also modified according to your discretion or according to the market requirement Accordingly, CMS will give you a final report informing you about the 
total revenue of your project and total expenses for the project during the full life cycle of the project and of course the net profit how you will gain accordingly this of course after you insert all the other expenses like the land cost or whatever which is already inserted here in the cms and informing you how to insert the land cost and other expenses for the project then cms will give you the final report which mentioned for the acceptance criteria for the project's evaluation what is the required maximum cash flow for the project what is the net profit for the project what is the internal rate of return and also considering the time consumed to gain your money back so we'll consider also the net present value because of course one thousand dollar this year not equal one thousand dollar after five years same as considering this also and give you the final evaluation plus diagram showing you the relation between the cumulative expenses and the cumulating revenue during the life cycle of the project plus the net cash flow required for your project for every month like this you finished all the required financial and cost estimation for the project in the pre-tender stage and in the tendering stage now we will know the actual cost of your project the actual budget of your project the total quantities of your project and you can do now the required modification either for the marketing plan or the design to ensure the feasibility of your project so till this stage you already finished the full quantity surveying you have the full material takeoff you finished all the cost estimation and you have the cost breakdown for each activity and for the full project and also you determine the required overhead and profit and get the final price for your project and have the full priced bill of quantity plus time schedule and cost baseline and the cash flow and manpower histogram and full feasibility study for your project like this you finish all the requirement before you start your project cms platinum will help you to manage your project during the execution now you complete everything in the tender and pre-contracting cms will not leave you during the execution and he will continue for the project management he will make for you a full management for the cost and the resources we'll find here the steps which shall be followed to reach for the final reports and recommendation CMS will find for us the unit value according to the actual progress on site and they will give us a variance report comparing the plant and the actual progress CMS also will make an overall cost control for the project and they will show the financial status of our project either we are over budget or within our budget the same he will do for also the resources of the project either the materials or the manpower for whatever materials CMS will make a monitoring and controlling for the consumption of these materials like the concrete the steel the block block mortars the tiles the plaster mortar the cement and the sand furthermore CMS will make also resources control for the manpower are we use the same manpower which is planned or not because CMS will have a baseline for each resources that's why he can make monitoring for the resources consumption performance like this and he will give us a report for each resources to tell us about its performance accordingly cms will produce for us the required reports which showing the activity performance the unit value report which showing the cost performance index and schedule performance index the status report which showing our our current status for the project either we are over budget or within budget or we are ahead of schedule or behind the schedule furthermore cms will give us a forecasting report which showing us the forecasted cost for project completion the estimated cost at completion that's how cms will showing automatically in monthly report the required charts and the forecasting what is the estimate at completion at the end of the project furthermore cms will provide for us a clear dashboard which showing us all the kpis required for the project all the scheduled kpis and cost kpis and showing us our situation in monthly basis either we are 
ahead or behind, over budget or within budget. So CMS will provide us dashboard for the progress and for the cost, and even for all resources, either it is material or manpower. Now we give a brief for how CMS will work and what is the inputs and the huge amount of outputs which will be produced by CMS during pre-contracting and tendering and during the execution of the project. I hope you to watch the course carefully and make your practice in CMS and don't hesitate to contact us anytime for any kind of clarification. Good luck and we'll meet again in the recorded courses. Thank you and good luck.